and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over some really cool free holiday effects for Final Cut Pro 10. Now, all these effects are from a pack called the Holiday Effects Pack from Cinepacks, and I'll go ahead and put the link down in the description below. But don't worry, this entire pack is completely free. It doesn't cost anything, so I'm not, you know, clickbaiting at all. Every single one of these effects that you see is completely free. Again, I'll go ahead and put the download link um, in the description below. I'm going to head over here to an example right here. I just have some photos um, from the movie Elf. Highly encourage you to go ahead and check that out. I'll watch the movie, I'm sure probably everybody knows that movie because, you know, it's a huge Christmas classic. So you, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just download the pack from Cinepacks. Again, the link will be link will be down um, in the description below now an important thing to remember is that these effects aren't plugins so you can see right here here are all the effects right here so all you would do is go over here to the import section right here go to import go ahead and basically go over right here click on the folder right here uh, cinepax free and then just click on import selected so you're basically just importing these like you would like a normal uh, photo or video these are not plugins so don't put these um, in your motions template folder. So all you want to do is let's just say I'll just show you a couple examples So let's say I have a Christmas tree right here All you want to do is you want to take it right here and then just place it on top of the clip right here And let Final Cut render and then you can see right there voila You have a really cool Christmas tree right there. So you can see it just animates on the screen right here Let's say I want to take some uh, uh, 3d gifts. Let's put it underneath the Christmas tree right here So all your base is doing is you're just applying these on top of your clip right here so I'll wait for Final Cut to render and and then as you can see right here, there you go. You have a Christmas tree and it's just rain presents um, right there. So you just really cool kind of like these, like these kind of motion graphics. Let's say, you know, like a, a gift pop right here. Let's go ahead and place this. All you, can, all you want to do is literally just place it um, on top of your clip right here. And then you can see right there, so here's you know, a couple examples right here. You have raining presents and then a gift pops up right there. And you've got, you also have some really cool kind of like wind or snow and wind accents right there. So you can see where you can kind of use this as like a background layer. Just to kind of you know, make it feel kind of like Christmas. And as you see right here, you have these really cool kind of like snow um, animations right here. And you have this really cool kind of like avalanche um, aval animation right here. And I'll show you how to use this. So basically you want to do, a, uh, I'll show you how to use the transitions too. So you want to go frame by frame. Wait till it entirely covers the screen right there, so, and then place a marker on the clip right here, and then place it in between. So there you go. As you can see right here, all I did was I tried to find a place where, as you can see right here, it completely covered the screen, and then I placed a marker and then placed it in between the two clips. So you can see right here, you have some really cool, you know, and a motion graphics right here. You have a gift pop right here, and you have some really cool kind of like snow accents right there, and you have an avalanche that transitions into the next clip. And that's pretty much you know the, all those are your know, graphics right there. Now I want to go over how to basically um, use a transition. So let's say I want to use this transition for example. Let's go ahead and just place a transition right here. And basically what you're doing is you're finding a point uh, where the where it basically covers the entire screen. So I'm all using is a right and left arrow key. So I'm going frame by frame, and I'm waiting for this this like wrapping paper to completely cover the screen. As you see, where I'm playing it right here. And then there you go. As you can see, it completely covers the screen. Now, what you want to do once you find a place where it completely covers the screen, uh, press M on your keyboard. So press M and just create a marker. Now you want to place that, drag it, and place it right in between, um, right there. And there you go. You have a really nice transition. You can see right here. You're waiting until it covers the screen right here, and then right here, right here, uh, covers the screen. And then there you go. So you can see you're, you're basically just finding a place where it covers the screen and then you're placing that in between the two clips. So I go ahead and play it right here. You have some really cool kind of motion graphics right here. You have some snow accents right here. And then there's really cool like snow like avalanche transition right here in the next clip right here. And then you have this really cool kind of like wrapping paper transition. And there you go. That's how you use all these effects. All you want to do is place them on top of your, or import them, place them on top of your clip. And then for the transitions, just find a place where it completely covers the screen. Now you can also do this. Let's say I want to adjust the, the scale. So I want to scale this down and I want to move this over here. So you you, you can also basically um, just adjust the position and scale of each one of these things. They want the GIF. Let's say I want it to you know end up over here. So you can uh, scale it down, or I, I could scale it up right here. So you can see right here. You can also you know adjust the scale and the position 
of it right there and that's what it looks like right here this is just you know a, a brief example obviously you want to put more you know time and uh, thought into it but i just want to basically just show you all the different stuff that comes with the pack obviously you already saw all that stuff um in the intro and that's pretty much it right there this is really cool holiday effects as you can see right here all the holiday effects are right here this is, so this is everything you get inside the pack uh, so highly encourage you to go ahead and check it out i think it's really good i'm not just saying that i've actually used this pack um, in multiple uh you know uh, videos that i've made or edited i've actually used these multiple times so it does work it looks really cool highly encourage you to go ahead and check it out this video is more just you know show, giving awareness um to the pack so just in case you know because i i haven't seen any videos made on this pack anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every week at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button i also have a playlist with over 280 final cut pro um 10 tutorials so definitely go ahead and check that playlist out anyways i'll see you in the next one Peace.